Hi, I'm Kevin Krejci, Business Development and Alliance Manager at Fujitsu Research of America. At Fujitsu, we respond to the modern digital world by co-creating with our partners and customers and driving new value from cutting-edge digital technologies that not only transform the way we work and live, but contribute to solving global social challenges, such as the COVID-19 epidemic. It is my pleasure to announce the winner of the XTC 2021 COVID-19 Innovation Award is SunFox Technologies. SunFox's cardiac diagnostic device is portable, scalable, and AI-enabled to detect heart defects and predict the severity of cardiac health, all of which is delivered virtually through a smartphone. In a time when many parts of the world are battling the pandemics with insufficient staff and ICU resources, SunFox's smart monitoring solution reduces the burden on the healthcare infrastructure and greatly enhances patient outcomes as it has already saved hundreds of lives in India. SunFox's life-saving medical solution exemplifies the kind of innovations that can make a profound impact on the health and well-being of many. Congratulations to the SunFox team. And now, please enjoy their pitch. Hello everyone, I am Rajat, founder of SunFox Technologies. Uh, we are sending uh, Spandan, uh, which is world's smallest ICU monitor, which converts any bed into an ICU level monitor bed to manage uh, COVID patients. So this is a standard uh, ICU monitor, which you see uh, commonly in the hospitals, and uh, it is non-portable, expensive, uh, designed to be used by the highly skilled doctors and also uh, designed in such a way that uh, it is uh, being manufactured at the lowest scale, considering the current COVID crisis, where we need uh, the solution for each and every home or each and every bed. So we have developed this world-class uh, device, which is world's smallest and the smartest ICU monitor. Uh, it is completely cloud-based uh, micro ICU monitor, which converts uh, any bed into an ICU and get all uh, vital for the patients along with the real-time oxygen saturation to a cloud, which can be monitored by a doctor from anywhere in the world. Uh, these are the vitals which, uh, which are monitored by us uh, and can be seen by a doctor uh, in the real-time. It's a patented technology. Uh, it goes with all standard accessories, uh, which you see uh, with any standard monitor. And also, uh, it is pretty much uh, similar uh, in the result uh, and also in terms of accuracy. Uh, while you compare uh, with an ICU uh, monitor, and that too in a fraction of the cost. So uh, it centralizes all of the bed and gets you all, uh, you know, most sensible data in the most affordable uh, way. And uh, it gives a lot to the doctor as well, and also very much scalable, uh, so that you can manufacture thousands of units in a day, uh, so that it can be deployed at each and every bed. Uh, we are impacting lives uh, all across India uh, to the extreme reward uh, and also the rural and uh, also looking to impact the global uh, population as well. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you, Rajik. Uh, welcome and congratulations. Thanks for the great work you're doing to save lives. Uh, let me head to Bill for the first question. Yes, uh, Rajat, uh, what is the, the uh, so when, it, when an ICU buys all the old equipment, not yours, what does that cost? Like how much stuff are you replacing and what are you selling your thing for and at what margin structure? Okay, uh, so we replace a $5,000 machine uh, with a $100 machine, uh, which exactly uh, do the same thing. And also, you know, uh, do a lot more by putting all the data in the real time to the cloud. That's awesome. And, and actually a follow up. And so uh, what penetration do you have already? Like, are you shipping already or is it uh, how, how early or how developed are you as a supplier? Okay. So we developed the whole product from scratch uh, during this uh, second wave uh, of COVID. And we have already penetrated seven states. And now we are also working with uh, several state governments uh, to empower all of their uh, facilities, uh, which are makeshift facilities developed for the COVID. Thank you. That's great. Fantastic. Okay, hey, over to you, Lars. 
Yeah, so so uh, Rajat, uh, uh, awesome. Uh, I, I worked as a student uh, uh, hundreds of years back on on ECG monitors, so I'm I'm really <laughs> passionate about what you're doing. Um, but uh, how how is the quality of your systems? Is it ICU comparable, or is it more uh, on the side like a, 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 a intelligent smartwatch? Uh, so electrodes wise and quality of the of the data gathering wise, uh, what are you competing with exactly? Okay. Uh, so we benchmark the uh, traditional machines, uh, which you see in an ICU, uh, which is uh, oftenly called as gold standard machines. So uh, it goes with the standard accessories and the uh, doctors and staff can use it in a similar way. They use a traditional monitor. However, there is no uh, visible uh, bedside monitor, you know, uh, next to the bed. Uh, we benchmark right. the gold standard machines, uh, we, you know, uh, which are uh, mainly uh, being used in the hospital. And as compared with all of them, we are more than 99% accurate. But what you what you are targeting is basically uh, the the uh, hospital B two B market. You are not targeting uh, the the families with the smartwatches and ECG monitors in the portables, right? Uh, so uh, it's a uh, you know it fits in both of the segments, uh, majorly B two B, where we empower you know a lot of beds uh, together on a single screen. Whereas, uh, say, uh, I mentioned uh, we are working with one of the state governments here. Uh, they are putting this de uh, these devices to each and every home where any uh, COVID pa uh, positive patient comes, right? So their doctors are remotely uh, monitoring all of the uh, patients there. And do you need special uh, um, uh, uh, legal approvals or, or uh, medical approvals for the hospitals to accept your technology, or is it uh, is it uh, pretty easy to get in there into that market? Uh, we need uh, pretty uh, you know uh, multiple uh, certifications and approvals uh, to put the product into the market. We already have uh, the desired uh, you know licenses and certification in, uh, obtained. Right. Uh, Michael, head it over to you for the next question. Yeah, Rajat, I think this is really amazing what you're doing and uh, congratulations on uh, winning this category. Uh, I am very curious, the magnitude of the saving is so extraordinary here. What is the trade-off? Uh, so in other words, your machine that does for $100 what the old machine does for 5000 what is the trade-off? What is it that your machine is not doing or where is it that your technology had to make a compromise in order to arrive at this uh, at this price point? What are you giving up? Okay, so uh, we don't have uh, onboard computation and the display. Okay, since we all are carrying a you know a highly uh, competitive smartphone in our pockets, right? So we are uh, using the power of a smartphone for the computation as well as the display. So uh, the device is just, you know, uh, doing the data acquisition from the patient and pushing it to the cloud and rest of the job is uh, doing your smartphone. So, yeah, that's all. And what is your personal background? What is it that brought you to doing this? Okay, so uh, I come from the engineering background and uh, we have been working on a portable ECG machine that is again world's smallest ECG machine which we have developed. So uh, when we saw uh, during this COVID uh, second wave that uh, people and hospitals are struggling uh, to get the ICU beds and, you know, uh, they're not unable to increase ICU beds massively. So, you know, uh, that time we decided to help uh, people and we evolved our ECG machines into a typical ICU monitor, which can actually save uh, millions of lives uh, during the pandemic. Thank you. Great, thank you, Rajat, for Sunfox Technology. It's been a pleasure having you. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Victoria. Thanks, thanks everyone. Thanks, everyone.